Hey guys, how's it going? Today I've got a knife for you that this is just going to be quick first impressions and sort of disc description, background, whatever. Uh, but I've got a knife to share with you that uh, is not really in my wheelhouse. It's a real steel and I do like real steels. It's a Prometheus Design Works and I tend to like their partnerships with real steel. However, this is a pretty stinking small knife and you know I don't really love small knives. Um, you know, just, you know, my preference leans toward the larger end of the spectrum. I'm also not a huge slip joint guy. Now, this is certainly a long, long way from sort of a traditional slip joint, but it's still a slip joint nonetheless. Now, it's a good slip joint, I think. I now I, and, and let me add this other point. Um, the design here on the Luna is a huge, huge win. Uh, in terms of just the overall look of this, this is definitely on the short list of most attractive knives that are available out there on the market. Um, absolutely beautiful. And there are a couple of the other Prometheus design uh, real steels that are spectacular in terms of their design. Now, this is a special version of the Luna. This is, by the way, the Luna is also a very popular knife for real steel, and there are a bunch of variations of it. This one, however, is really cool and really special because this JG10 and Black D2 iteration of the real steel Luna is the Knife Nuts podcast exclusive. And, you know, that makes this a really cool and really special knife. And so I've got to thank the guys over there for uh, sending this to me to check out and to uh, share with you guys and to add to my collection. This will be a knife that never leaves the collection just because, you know, it's it's uh, from a friend. And so uh, it gets to stick around for good. Um, but very nice little design. Now, I, I do have to make this one comment, though. I'm not sure if, you know, the skull puts this to the the level of, you know, sort of being metal enough for the Knife Nuts podcast. Um, you know, this is almost leaning toward, you know, adult contemporary. And, and you know, probably Levon is a huge fan of, of John Cicada, maybe Michael Bolton. But... He, he doesn't normally share that uh, with the, the broader knife loving community. Um, and so, you know, except through this knife. So um, I have to, I have to say that this, this is not really what I would call, you know, maybe uh, super metal, but that that's okay. Um, Levon can make up for it in, in other areas. Um, I, the next thing I've got to say about this before I, I move on, it's, it's small ish, but for a small knife, it's pretty practical. So six and five eighths inches is the overall size two and three eighths on the blade. Um, but notice I can get a full four finger grip on this, which is to me kind of a big deal. Um, the design is also very plain, but also very practical. And the last point here, this is a great knife to carry along with you know, I'm a, I'm a fan of carrying stupidly big knives. And so, you know, if you've got this guy in your pocket, uh, the ZT0308, then this is a great pairing because you can sort of stick this in, you know, the coin pocket or in a small pocket on your pants and, and take this out on those, in those situations where you're not so sure how something like this is going to be received. Um, so what do I think overall? What's my first impression on this uh, this little real steel Luna? This is very impressive. I, you know, I, and I've long thought that this knife design was really, really spectacular. Um, it's just always been a little bit too small. Now, if anyone from Real Steel happens to be listening to this video, if you could do this knife, this exact knife, same design, same everything, but just make it a little bit bigger and add, you know, just a liner lock. Um, that would be very, very compelling. Um, I do want to point out here that, come on, uh, this little design touch right here, putting that jimping on the front of the blade so that it, it reduces anyway, the risk of anyone sliding up on this. That is a really, really nice touch that, uh, normally I'd reserve that kind of detail for the review, but I honestly, I'm not sure if I'm going to get to a full review on this. I, I don't, I'm not going to ignore it purposefully, but you know, this knife is not so much in my wheelhouse, so I probably will, it'll take me a little longer to get as much time and energy into, um, 
into using this enough to give you sort of some some reliable feedback. So anyway, there you go, guys. That's a quick first impression on the Real Steel Luna. I know it's been around for a while, but this one, again, is special because it's a Knife Nuts podcast exclusive. So thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to check the links down below. And don't forget to head over to whatever, you know, whatever you watch, uh, whatever you watch your podcasts on and subscribe to the Knife Nuts podcast. They do have great uh, little banter back and forth over there. So thanks for watching. Again, we'll talk to you soon.